Coming to a hospital, care home or construction site near you. Hi, my name is Charlie. I'm a fur hat robot. Welcome to the National Robotarium. The cutting edge tech scientists hope will become an everyday sight. From helping you reach the top shelf to helping firefighters save lives. At the opening of the National Robotarium in Edinburgh, we got a preview of our coexistence with robots. Starting with human interaction. The fact that sounds vague is a testament to how versatile these robots are. Hi there, friends. Hi. What is this place? We are now in the National Robotarium. Yes, that's three robots in conversation. Focus. This lot, like Charlie, who's on reception duty, can pick up speech patterns and facial expressions. So what's the best place to test them? In the wild study where we put the robot in the um, coffee room in the department and the robot was able to interact and make coffees, but more broadly it can help people with accessibility issues. And we're seeing robots being used more as a personal assistant in, in serious hazardous situations as well. Like search and rescue operations, these firefighters are testing smart helmets with a built-in radar and thermal camera. They provide an infrared feed to the team outside so they can guide them through the smoke. The chief executive of the Robotarium says this goes to the heart of their goals, not to replace, but to help. We're looking to help in all kinds of different ways, help people stay safe, help people to remain healthy, um, help industry to become more productive. Industries like construction. I'll let the expert take this one. Here we have the Boston Dynamics Spot Robot fitted with our own sensors on top of it. So what this robot allows us to do is do things like autonomous scanning of a construction site. So what this helps with is providing a model for the company that is in charge of building the building. And finally, assisted living. Please get me the bottle. Say you're not able-bodied or injured. Soon, there could be a robot to help you around the house. Here you go. Thank you. And the idea is that someone who has some dis uh, disability problems can actually um, get some help within the home and the, it can bring some items for them. Time and again today, we were told the focus isn't robots, it's humans, because they really are here to watch over us. Jay Akbar, 5 News.